Oh, shut up, Labbot. It didn't work. Oh, Blackbot's invincible. That's not good. He Hello, friends. My name's Peridot, and welcome. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. Whoa. Did you guys see that? Amanda's face was not the same. Hold on, editor. Can you, like, go back on that part and zoom in on Amanda? Oh, my God. What is that? Anyways. My name's Peridot, and welcome back to what may be the final episode of Amanda the Adventurer. As I stated in the last video, this is like my favorite horror game, and I'm very glad to be coming back to it. And thanks to you guys for leaving comments in the last video, I have a good idea on what I need to do. So I'm looking forward to it. And before I start the game, there's something I'd like to address. Um... I like to apologize to Sky, who is a member of our Discord, and the reason for that is it has to do with my design. Um, the thing is, Skull, yes, he's the one who like drew the PNG of me, my redesign. But if anything, a lot of the credit goes to Sky because she's the one who came up with the concept of my redesign, the concept which I will show on screen right now. So, Sky, if you're watching this, I'm really sorry. And I've been meaning to address this in a lot of videos I was in, and Skull told me to, and I just keep forgetting. So, if anything, I'm really sorry. So, now that I got that out of my chest, without further address, let the adventuring commence! Okay, so... Thanks to you guys, I have a good idea on what I'm going to do first. I'm going to find a way to get all these secret tapes, and a lot of you guys in the comments have been pointing out that I need to do something with a flower pot and the doll, so don't worry, I saw it, and thank you. Also, if I'm to address one thing, Lazu, I very much appreciate your help, but if you're going to comment, at least keep it short. And now that I got that out the way, let's go ahead and do this doll thing. Another thing I'm going to point out is, I man, I really feel like I have a lot I need to say, but only because it's important. Something else I want to point out is that I want to make sure that this video comes out as soon as possible, and I don't want to put too much on the editor, so do that. I'm gonna make sure you guys will see a lot of the same stuff that we you've already seen already, and by that I mean things that we have an experience together, so I'm not gonna wait. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna make sure. I can't talk today. I'm going to make sure that whatever I encounter, it's gonna be something new. All right. So I'm going to be going through a lot of the stuff that you guys seen already, but I can guarantee you, you won't miss out on any of the good stuff. Okay? Okay. Found it. Found it. All right. So what I need to do is I need to put the water or put this pot under the water. Wait for that to grow. And give it to the doll. Thank you, that's my favorite flower. I got a surprise for you, but you'll have to turn around. Okay, this better not be a jump scare. Okay, I don't see anything. What? It oh, okay. Thank you, Dolly. Let's go ahead and check this out. So this is gonna be our first tape. Oh, oh, is this gonna be real footage? It is. Oh, it's so genuine. It's real people. Is that Amanda? What? I... What's going on? Oh, um... Hmm. I need to pay attention to a lot of these things and interpret what's going on. That's just the calculative of nature, Peridot, at work here, so let's see what's going... No, wait a second. Amanda, no! You never dressed a man in a suit! Oh, that's 
not fair. D how could they just do that? That's not fair. If Amanda's so popular, then she should get a lawyer before she signs any kind of terms and conditions. That's so unfair. I bet that guy in the suit is like, ha, got her. How easy it is to finesse an eight-year-old, seven-year-old, nine-year-old. I don't know. Uh... Hey, don't worry, I've been paying attention to the dates at the top left, so... Oh wait, what, what's happening? Where are you charlatans taking Amanda? Or at least, uh, that is Amanda, right? Was that, was that bouncer or security guard smiling or something? I don't know. Well, that's one secret tape, so thank you everyone in the comment who typed that and i mean everyone because a lot of you guys did type it so don't worry i was reading your comments so we're gonna go to the chickens because hey, i received a comment oh poor woolly having a family is nice so they said that when i'm to address the daddy chicken they told me to put How is that okay? Sheep? Not sure what that did. That was different, but I'm hoping it did something. Okay, let's go. Look at the Poor night. Wooly, I'm sorry. Um alone. Whoops. Um alone. alone. Yes. I really would have appreciated if she didn't just look at me and slowly smile. I wonder why this kitten has so much to do with this game. There's a lot I also want to figure out as well. Like, oh, red tape! Yes! So that did do something. All right. Let's see what this is. I feel like I might be doing... I hope I'm doing everything in the right sequence, so... It's been three weeks since local television producer Sam Colton was reported missing. And oh, authorities still have no lead. The creator of Amanda the Adventurer! Is the creator of Amanda the Adventurer. Right! The public access children's educational program that became a huge hit among area children. Mm -hmm. But with Colton's disappearance, the future of the show remains unclear. Last year, Hamlin Entertainment purchased rights to the live-action program starring Colton's daughter, Rebecca. As budget and production value increased, oh. Hamlin reimagined the show as an animated series. So the girl was named Rebecca! Hamlin's and she of inspired program, Amanda. And Colton's recent disappearance have raised some eyebrows. And to further fuel these concerns, new episodes of Amanda the Adventurer have had subject matter that has left local parents uncomfortable about the program. My kids are still really into that show, but it has changed. I mean, I walked in the other day and Amanda was talking about how mommies and daddies aren't always right. I mean, what is that? That's not something you tell impressionable kids. I had to change the channel. I just told the kids that the TV was acting up. It's not yet clear how Colton's disappearance will affect the involvement of his daughter, Rebecca, the show's young star. We reached out to Hamlin Entertainment well, we for an interview. We saw what happened with Rebecca. While the suits tried to get like, to the, comment, they did release the right to the show statement. from her. We at Hamlin have concerns surrounding the nature oh, of Sam Colton's else. abandonment of both our program and his daughter. We cannot speculate on his reasons for leaving. We do ask that the community respect the privacy of Rebecca Colton as she needs time out of the spotlight to process these disturbing events. For the time being, Rebecca's local appearances have been canceled, including library fundraiser, Woolies Readathon, this Saturday evening. Rest assured that Amanda is not going anywhere. Hamlin Entertainment remains committed to Sorry, our vision that might for this cherished program. Issue. Despite this statement, authorities have not drawn any conclusions about the nature of Sam Colton's disappearance. We will share any future updates as the story develops. When we return, we'll check in with Zappo, the talking gerbil. We'll be back after these messages. It's me, your friend, Skip. And with uh, me, as always, is my trusty dog, Chip. Yeah. 
and it just ends. Alright. So that's something I want to know is that which of these events occurred first? Was it the disappearance of Sam Colton? Oh wow. Was it the disappearance of Sam Colton? Or was it um, Amanda signing off the rights to... I mean, Rebecca signing off the rights to Amanda the Adventurer? That's something I want to know. I'm guessing I just go ahead... Let me see what happens when I get this tape. So I'm going to rewatch this tape. And I'm going to try and get those tornado warnings again. Gross. Okay, so we're going to watch the Everything Rots tape because I received a comment from someone with the username Brina Johnson, or is it Brianna Johnson? 6265, and they said, also you forgot, there's a lot that this person said, but the one thing they said about Everything Rots is that I missed out on an ending, said to watch the tape Everything Rots and see what ending I get after I say yes to Saving the Lonely Kitten. So let's do just that. Did we help the kitten? Yes. Um, th did the tape freeze? Anything? I clicked the kitten. No tape came out. Oh. Uh. Wait. I got this ending already, didn't I? And now I'm just a sack of meat hanging on a wall. Okay, I wanted to dress, but... If you hadn't seen my last video, I actually already gotten this ending. So, let's continue. Okay, so thank you, Brina, or Brianna. I really appreciate that, that I've already gotten that ending, but there is something else that you typed in that I will try out, and I'll get right back to you when I actually get to that point. As I'm doing this, I always wonder, like, how did someone figure all this out? Like, obviously, the game developers knew that this was something you had to do in order to progress the game, but I wonder how bored someone would have to be to figure all this stuff out before people just decide to give up and go to Google. But I didn't give up and go to Google, because most of this I figured out all on my own, thanks to my great wits, and a lot, and thanks to you guys, I'm able to figure out a lot more. So the oven to 525 degrees and cook for 50 minutes it's just something I wanted to point out like I do love the amount of detail into this game and what it is you have to do in order to you know get progress and there's lots of lore to go along with it so all that is really fun so I very much appreciate the game developers and everyone who worked on a man of the adventure Though this sounds like stuff I should be saying at the end of the video, but I have to find something to say. I've been quite quiet for a while. But it's because I was, um, figuring a lot of stuff out. Okay, so... I was told, right here, or from what I've heard, is that there are some musical notes here, and on the piano, right here, Um, I'm supposed to type in F A C A D E. Yes! Yes! Okay. Okay, so, um, let's go ahead and continue this from here. I wish I knew what wasn't bad that was happening. That's not the right card. I can't help but to think that perhaps, maybe, Amanda is the victim in all this. I don't know. It's like, however this is all happening, or Amanda or Rebecca, who knows, maybe they're the same person, but I can't help but to think that 
she's a victim in all this and whatever those the suits did when they made the cartoon and or I don't know I think I, I, mean, I can't help but think like she was corrupted by all this Good ending. Now, let's check out the secret cave. Oh. I don't- I don't know if I said this, but I really do appreciate, like, all the live-action footage. It makes it that much more authentic. Supposed to be some sort of demonic chant that Rebecca's doing. He's upset. This is going too far. Let's just take that. Rebecca, come on out and we'll... Okay, um... So, I might have been right about that. Whatever the scientist people are doing... That's what's happening to Rebecca or Amanda. You know what I mean? Something bad is happening. Oh yeah, soon I will have all the tapes in my collection. Just you wait. Alright, so I was told by the editor to type in this combination into BlabBot and then just, you know, just to see what happens. Zero. And the combination is for a oh, zero, four, zero, zero eight, eight, nine, nine. nine. Let's see what happens. You're gonna sing Blab Bot? That was interesting. Not sure what that actually did, but also beautiful singing voice, Blabbot. Just in case you guys might get curious, I'm not going to get scared because I've basically seen a lot of these things here. This is basically Detective Peridot on the case to figure out the secrets to Amanda the Adventurer. So Skull told me to take this, this potted plant specifically and throw it at the bucket when the water's full. Can you do it? Oh, it's a fish! Oh, that's so neat! Can I catch the fish? Yeah, I guess I can. Oh well, that's not my intention. I was just going to take this bucket of water and... Oh, shut up, Blabbot. You can't hide what's it didn't inside. Work. Oh, Blabbot's invincible! That's not good! He's mad, and now he's going to call his other Blabbots to take over the world. Now, unless I stop him right here, right now! Maybe I just didn't get a full bucket of water. Okay. Oh, I wasn't close enough. Oops. Mm -hmm. this afternoon, we were playing, and Wooly Where did you get that clock, Amanda? I, I didn't Where on Wooly does it look like he got hurt? Okay, um, his knee. That's right! Wooly hurt his knee. You hurt his you knee. help when you are hurting. Okay, now, Bianca said that when Amanda asks, who can help Wooly, I am supposed to type... Nobody. 
I don't think they can help. That's it, right? Hold on. You're probably right. Let's take Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. Okay. Which room that was it, go right? Into? That was new. I had to type it in in caps Willie. because in the other accident tapes, nobody was actually in all caps when she's when Amanda said the word nobody. So let's just go ahead and get this at it. Get this tape out the way. Okay, please be something new. Yes! Yes, finally! Okay, let's see what's on this tape. Okay, Brina, Brianna, I don't know which one it is. I'm just saying both just to be sure. Brina Johnson, 6265, thank you. But also, everyone else, thank you. Let's check out this tape. Okay, why'd I get scared? I should not be scared of these things. Welcome to Coffee Break. Today I'm talking with Sam Colton, the creator of oh, the kids, kids show. This Amanda is the guy, the adventurer. And I have to say, a fan Amanda's father. Thanks for having me on the show, Sadie. You're a pretty good studio neighbor yourself. Though I am going to gain fifty pounds if you keep stocking the kitchen with those delicious homemade cookies. You can't have a coffee break without cookies, <laughs> Sam. Last year, you started producing Amanda the Adventurer right here in the studio. The whole town loves it. Did you even imagine that would be such a big sensation? Honestly, Sadie, no. <laughs> it's something not a lot of people can predict, honestly. Like, oh, wow, suddenly I'm successful because of this thing I did? Wow. I don't know. No one can ever see that coming, ever. And no one doesn't go into it thinking it would be. They see the heart. And boy, does your show have a big heart. You know, I really have to thank our local librarian, Miss Kate, for being such a champion of the project. I think she's talked about it at every single story time. He mentioned I think Kate. It's so rare nowadays for kids shows to be so much fun, but also really teach kids something, isn't it? Mm. What inspired you to create Amanda? I wanted to create a show that teaches children that our world is a magical place that there are little adventures waiting around every corner in their very own neighborhood. The show is a celebration of kids' imaginations. I mean, he has but heart. Really, it's all Rebecca. As soon as I met my beautiful daughter, the inspiration was there. What? You know, she was so young when I adopted her. Oh, my adopted. Okay. She's always That's seen sweet. the world with such kindness and joy. She's the light of my life. And it makes me so happy to share that light with our community. She really is something special. Watching her perform is simply delightful. I mean, the whole show is just so cute. Thank you, Sadie. Do you see big things happening with Amanda the Adventurer? I've actually had some people approach me about it. They want to turn Amanda into a cartoon. I can't really talk about it yet, but it's exciting. It feels like a dream, the idea of welcoming even more kids into this wild oh. world. It feels oh. like this show could really have a big impact. That's incredible. Sam, thanks so much for having a coffee break with me today. Our community is so lucky to have you. Why'd you put, why did you don't you didn't have to put your on hands on me? Break, Floral That's probably what Sam was thinking. I don't know what he's thinking. Featuring the newest addition to our neighborhood. I know what he wasn't Rose thinking. Matthews he didn't think that he'd go missing. Until then, may your coffee always be steaming and the conversation sparkling. Okay. Coffee break with Sadie Copper. Coppin? I don't know. Okay. That was something. Oh! Wait a second. Wasn't this a time? I almost forgotten. Darn it, I wasn't paying attention. Oh no. Wait, wasn't this the clock thing? Hold on. Yum, that's my favorite. Mm-hmm. 
Are you sure? Yes. Is it really okay to share my secret with you? I'm out there. Somewhere. <laughs> I came back here because I really wish there was something else I can do with this brick. Because the thing just keeps repeating over and over. I can't destroy the tapes. I can't turn any further. I literally have no choice but destroy the TV. What else is there for me to do? I had done just about everything. And how do I get the six tape? <gasps> Whoa, what the? That was new? Wait, it can't just end that way. Oh no, 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 no. That was like the same, that was like the other, I thought it was going to be the same ending, but that was completely different. Who was that? Like, I, I'm so, I'm so confused. I am so, so confused. Got a new ending. Got a new ending. There has to be... No. There has to be a six tape. Where's the six tape? Where is it? I have to find it. Okay, so, um... I actually done a little bit of research, and as it turns out, there is no six tape. Or, to be more specific, there's no six tape that you can get through regular means. And... That's a shame. And I really, really was hoping that there was more of it. I'd done just about everything. I pretty much just did everything. I read all the comments and I did every possible outcome. I don't even know what the other plants did, but I don't even know how I'm going to start figuring that out. And there's like that weird message on Amanda's fridge that I don't even know. And it's just, it's a lot. I don't even... Okay, I want to talk about a few things. First stop the lore. I love the lore of this game because, if anything, I... It's telling a story. Like, all these tapes are telling a story. And what it said was, is that Sam Colton is the guy who created Amanda the Adventure, which was based off his adopted daughter, Rebecca. However, something happened in that the suits wanted to make Amanda the Adventurer a cartoon. But like before any of that happened, Sam went missing. Also, there is something I want to know is like, what about Kate, right? Kate's the one that was like supplying the tapes, I'm sure. But like, I don't know what happened to Sam when he went missing. But when Sam went missing, that's when the higher up people, or the suits I call them, went up to Rebecca to sign off the rights to Amanda the Adventurer so that they can do whatever it is they want. And for some reason, it also seems like that the scientists that were also there with the suits, they're doing some kind of weird experiment with this cartoon that they made. A weird experiment that causes people to disappear, which was shown in our very first secret tape to where the guy was celebrating his daughter's birthday, but she disappeared. And that's kind of what I want to know is that is which sequence of events happened. I'm trying to piece everything together because I saw all the tapes in like random. I don't know if they were in right order, but I pieced them all together. So I don't know what happened if like Sam went missing and then suddenly the cartoon happened to where like they did some kind of weird experiment. An experiment to where I think that Amanda, the cartoon character, has a lot to do with Rebecca. Because I don't know what Rebecca was doing, like the weird chanting and whatnot. 
I'm still trying to figure everything out. It's all so different, but I love it so much. I love it. I love this game. I'm going off and on. I'm going on and on about like the lore of this game because I love it that much. It's that good. But unfortunately, I don't know what else I can do. So I guess that's it. I guess that's the end of Amanda the Adventure. Well, I have to say, it has been quite a fun ride. Or should I say, quite the adventure. <laughs> I know that was bad. Anyways, first off, I want to thank everyone. Every I want to thank you all so much for your comments and helping me out and finding the tapes the secret tapes and a lot of other neat easter eggs i also want to thank skull for those other things that i didn't even know i could do like the blob bot song and up and the fish and i also want to thank everyone for watching and joining us in this amazing adventure and i don't know what's gonna happen but i'll say this right now i desperately want more of this game. I want more of it so bad. I love it. It's so good. I love it and I want to know what happens. But I could have sworn I saw Wooly did a weird thing. Editor, can you like go back at where I was speaking? And I, Cause I saw Wooly do something weird. Anyways, I might've been imagining. So my thoughts is, is that I don't know what's going on. But I can't, it seems on surface level that Amanda seems like she's the bad guy and Wooly was just trying to help us. But what it really feels like is that I feel like, Ama I feel like Amanda or Rebecca, I don't know, who knows, they might be the same person, but Amanda's acting too weird for her not to, for her and Rebecca not to be the same person, but... I truly believe that Rebecca might be a victim in all this, and Wooly is trying to lead us away from the truth. Lead us astray. Stray because he's a sheep. Stray sheep, I figured it out! Wooly's the bad guy! But hey, that's just a theory. A game I don't even know. I stayed away from any kind of other videos regarding this because I wanted to figure things out myself. And when I felt like I was at my wit's end, I went to the comments, and even when I figured everything, and even when we figured everything else out together, I had to Google, and even then I couldn't figure it out. So that's a shame. I truly hope there is going to be an update to this game, or a sequel, whichever happens. And when it does, you guys be sure to let me know, because the great and lovable Paradox will be there faster than you can say, I don't know. Adventure. That wasn't good. But anyways. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this amazing adventure. My name is Peridot. And I want to say. Amanda. If you really are out there somewhere. I promise that I will find you. <sighs> Bye, everyone! I saw Wooly did a weird thing. Editor, can you like go back at where I was speaking? Because I, I saw Wooly do something weird. Anyways, I might have been imagining. <laughs>